Hey guys, John here from Water Bear Cycles. What I have here in front of me is a classic bicycle issue that if you've been riding or in the cycling industry or if you're a mechanic, you've probably seen this once or twice and it can be a real nightmare. It's called a C seat post. And what happens is the seat post actually becomes seized inside of the frame. And this can happen for a number of reasons. One reason is riding the bike in wet conditions, getting water down inside of the seat post and just parking the bike and letting it sit. Another classic way that we see this happen is when you have the rider that sweats a lot. So all that sweat drips down your legs, down that seat post into the frame, creates a lot of salt corrosion in between the two materials, the frame and the seat post. And man, I'll tell you, when it gets seized in there, it is tough. Now, this issue is with an aluminum frame and a carbon seat post. And that's probably one of the best combinations you can have because you can probably get some material down inside of there to soften up that bond between the two materials. If you have a steel frame and aluminum seat post or an aluminum seat post and a titanium frame and you don't have any lubrication in there and you have some corrosion or some salt that's got in there, those two metals can be chemically bonded together to the point where it's almost impossible to get it out. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get something like a coil material, which can break down rust or corrosion. You're gonna spray it around the seat post and let it drip down inside of the frame and let it sit for a while. Um, there's not a lot of clearance in there, so there's not a lot of room for that stuff to get in there. You can also, since you might have to use a lot of it, get this $2 lube from Walmart. It's a spray lubricant. Again, it's not guaranteed that it's gonna, gonna loosen stuff up for you. Um, I put coil on this thing probably an hour ago, and I'll show you just uh, with my trusty rubber mallet um, that this thing is in there. I mean, I cannot, I can't move this. Oh, my strength. I mean, not even a smidge. Um, you can say goodbye to your seat too, because when you start dealing with this, Luckily, as you can see on this bike, this seat is a piece of garbage. The guy must have sweat and rode this thing into the ground, but uh, the seat's gonna go. So I'll show you first step, rubber mallet technique. You're just gonna get behind the bike and brace it with your legs. And then you're just gonna start pounding on the seat. go back and forth you got to create heat to break up whatever's down inside of that C tube and that C post so it breaks free you can see this thing's barely moving go back and forth on it now if I'm doing that I'm probably gonna have to do it for at least a half hour before I can probably hopefully get it broken free to the point where I can get my hands on the seat and then wrestle it out the rest of the way. Now, step two, if that doesn't work, take the bottom bracket out. Take the cranks off the bottom bracket out. Turn the frame upside down, put something on the ground like a cardboard box or a sheet. And you're gonna fill the seat tube with some type of lubricant or some type of penetrant. That will maybe hopefully seat down in between the seat post and the frame and then help break it up as well. A lot of times when we do this, we'll leave it sit overnight. Um, just be careful you don't use something that's gonna take the paint off or uh, if you're worried about ruining your seat post, something that's gonna deteriorate the carbon or soften up the carbon. Um, last resort on these things, you'll probably lose your seat post with this, but uh, you're gonna take the seat off and you're gonna take the wheels off. You can even take the handlebars off if you want, but you can leave them intact. Turn the bike upside down. Take a vise, like a bench top vise, and then crush or clamp the seat guts on the top of the seat post into the vise. So now you have the bike upside down, the seat post into the vise, then you're gonna grab the fork and you're gonna grab the rear stays and you're gonna wrestle that frame back and forth like this. And hopefully, that will help break it free. But that one's a tough one because even with that, I've done that and I've wrestled with the bike for 
half hour, 45 minutes before I can even get it done. So that's the best options for you. But if you want to prevent or avoid this from happening, I'm telling you every once, once every two months or so, pull your seat post out. If it's a metal frame with a metal seat post, put some lubricant in between, some grease, or if it's a carbon seat post, put some new friction paste in there, clean all that salt and that sweat on there. All right, hopefully this will help get it out. All right, I'm gonna beat on this thing a little bit more.